In this video, I want to introduce you to the eScript package. DSM comes with its own packaging engine and you can actually create automation uh, for your endpoints from scratch uh, without having to ever do any real coding uh, to accomplish this. So we uh, created about 160 different commands that allow admins to change everything from a simple registry key, uh, gather information about uh, the hardware, uh, react to certain conditions on the client and um, make modifications to the system um, such as changing passwords, uh, deleting files, uh, modifying content of files, and so on. To give you an example of that, let me just walk you through a simple idea of how can I make sure that no one gains admin rights to his local machine uh, that is not allowed to have such. So um, I would go to the eScript here and use an if command. And you can see every single command is just a drag and drop into the script. And then I say if the current user is a local administrator, okay, now let's take a second if statement and say like, if that user is, and now I go into my um, uh, group management and I'll check on is user in group, and I'll just point at my domain and say like domain backslash allowed admins. So if the user is not in the group allowed admins, but he has local admin rights. In that case, I want to take action against that. What can I do? I can easily click here on user management and say local group remove a member. So I'll pick the local administrator group and you see it's all just point and click. There is no coding involved and I'll just use the username percent username so we do support a lot of variables. Um, not only the standard system variables, but also information like MAC address, IP address, and other things that you can easily uh, refer to uh, via variables here. So if so, if the current user is local admin is not in the U, in the group allowed admins, I would now remove him from the local administrator group. To make that actually stick, I would have to go in here and lock off the user because as long as you're locked in, you still have those admin rights. And if I want to go a little bit more and get a little tricky here, I can actually go to tools and say like, oh, send me an email about this occurrence. So I'll just send an email to admin at company.com. I'll uh, CC the end user, percent username percent again using a variable at company.com uh, subject would be something like a gotcha and the message is percent username percent was found as unauthorized admin on percent computer name so the user is actually going to be notified about the fact that we caught him and it's going to be a, a simple email that gets sent out every time this, these conditions are true. So this is a package that I could now run to any and all of my machines, but it's something that I wouldn't just want to run once. I can actually set this up to be run repeatedly like once a week or every time a user logs into a machine to make sure that I have a clean environment and no one gains admin rights to the machines that is not supposed to happen. Um, when I save this, um, I have a script just like I created before for the MSI or for, uh, for an executable or for a driver. And all of these other scripts like the MSI packages and the executable scripts are also modifiable after the fact. So you can use all of these commands in combination with the MSI or the executable to get more things done, things that maybe the MSI doesn't support out of the box as one of the configuration options. You want to change the registry key after the MSI got installed. Very simple to do. You just go to registry. You would drag like a reg modify right into the script that already exists. And then you just, again, point at the key that you want to change. I'm just picking something here. Um, and then you say like, no, I don't want to change a default value. I want to change like my value. And you set it to, I don't know, 17. And at that time, this now becomes part of your, your package. One thing you notice here, or you want to see as well is, you see how this one thing where I change something in current user is now flagged on a per user basis. 
Worthers, uh, this one here is actually the local group remove member is one thing that happens on a machine basis. What's the difference? Everything that is user related or flagged as user related is going to be executed for every single user that logs into that machine, while the machine portion is only on, going to be applied to that machine once, taking away the overhead of having to reinstall the entire software just because a second user logs into it. It's one of the very um, unique features of, of uh, DSM. Another thing that we do support that is also um, not possible with most other software is when you have something user related, but you want to do something that the user really doesn't have the right to do, you can easily just flag this one command to be executed um, user related but service executed. What does that mean? It means the user resolves that environment, the current user environment in the registry, but then passes on the command to be actually executed by our administrative service. So even in the user's context, we can get things done that require administrative rights without having to give the end user admin rights for that ever.